Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 88. Inside this video, we will see that how can we create helpers in Laravel application. So first of all, to go into the deep of helpers concept, first of all we need to understand that what are helpers. So helpers are those files which is going to contain standalone functions. Those functions is going to complete a specific task. Let's say that we want to create a function which is going to remove let's say white spaces and it will put a hyphen symbol. What I mean if I open a new tab let's say that here we have a string called online web tutor. We are going to create a function inside helper and that function what actually it will do it will go and then change this string value to something like that. It means that function has removed this white space and changed this white space into a hyphen symbol as well as this string value is converted into lowercase value. So helpers are those files which contains standalone functions and those functions can help us to actually accomplish a specific task. So inside this video, we will see step by step that how can we create helpers and configure inside Laravel application. So if I back to editor, step number one, we need to create a helper file. So we can create helper file either at this project root or inside this app directory. There is no specific location to store means to create and store helper file inside this application. So we can easily create inside any of the location. So let's say that we are going to create a helper file inside this app directory. So inside this what I will do simply I am going to create a file called helpers.php and inside this helpers.php let's create a standalone function which is going to do the functionality what we had discussed here. So go here let's say that if function exists let's say remove white space I will put exclamation symbol here it means if this function does not exist inside this application then we are, we are going to create that function. So let's say function remove white space this function is going to take the string value and inside this function we are going to return let's say return first of all we to remove white space and convert into a hyphen symbol. So let's say str replace we need to search as we can see inside this IntelliSense here we need to search so we need to search for this white space next we need to provide provide our replace character so we want to replace this white space with this hyphen symbol and the subject we have this string value what we are getting inside this function and finally after converting this string value we need to also convert into lowercase. So let's say str to lower. So if we save all these changes, now we have defined a file inside this app directory. Also inside this file, we have defined a function. Now the next question is that how can we use this function inside our controller, view file, or anywhere inside this Laravel application? And one more thing about this helper file, when we define any function inside this helpers.php, it means when we create any of the helper function inside application, we can easily access those functions anywhere like inside any component, any controller, any of the view file. So after defining this file, after creating this function, we need to go inside this composer.json file scroll down here inside this auto load we to create another object called files as we can see that after typing files colon here we have an array inside this array 
we need to load this helpers.php inside this array. So as we know that we had created helpers.php file inside app directory. So let's app and inside this app we have helpers.php. So after doing these two things like creating a file, defining custom functions, after loading inside this composer.json, now we can access all these functions of this file in any view inside this application. So let's see that how can we use this remove white space function. So go inside this app, http, controllers, sample controller. Now inside this list students, let's see that we have a string. This is the string value. Let's echo. We are going to use remove and as we can see that the IntelliSense has given the name called remove white space and inside this function we need to pass the string value. So simply I am passing string here. Now if we save back to browser and if I type the route called list students and before that we need to start our development server. So php artisan serve. Now if we go and reload this page list students and here we have some error that is called to undefined function that is remove white space and this is because actually we forgot to add our composer dump autoload command because we have changed our composer.json file. So first of all we need to tell our application that we need to autoload this file as well. Back to terminal, close this development server, type the command called composer dump autoload. Now if we press enter, save all these changes what we had done. Now if you go and start our development server, run this URL and as we can see that our string now converted into lowercase as well as this white space has been removed from this hyphen symbol. One more time if you go inside this sample controller, remove these lines and let's say that we are going to return a view file return. Let's say view sample we need to create a bleed template file. Go inside resources folder, views folder. Let's create a file called sample.bleed.php. Now inside this view file, what I will do, let's define a variable called a string and inside this string value, online web tutor channel. Echo and if we type remove, let's say white space, this is the function what we have created and inside this I am passing this string value. Again back to helpers, copy this function name and pasting it here. This time we are using this helper function inside this bleed template file. So if we go and reload this page, as we can see that we are getting our output. One more thing, if we go inside this web.php routes, web.php, go inside this welcome page, also we can use our helper function inside this web.php file as well. So what I will do, let's say string value, my name is sample and here Let's echo, remove white space. I am passing this string value here. Save this change. Go inside this welcome page and as we can see that my name is sample. So by following these examples, we had created a helper, means helpers.php file. We have a small function loaded inside composer.json file. Go inside this terminal, we had run a command called composer dump autoload. After running all these things, now we can access this like if we go inside our helpers.php, now we can now we are able to use this function to anywhere 
on the application like inside our controller, inside bleed template file and inside wave.php file. So helpers are those files which is going to contain standalone functions and those functions is going to complete our specific task. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.